Hey sports fans, this is Sir Mitzalot, Mahalo Video Games, and this is an educational video on MLB 11, the show. To see your favorite team, head over to mahalo.com forward slash MLB 11 WT for videos featuring every major league team. Send any requests you have over to requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment on this video. Batter up. But it doesn't hurt him. Adrian Gonzalez will step in to lead things off here for the Red Sox. Big Poppy on deck to follow. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. And the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. It's kind of been a trend all afternoon. Guys just haven't looked comfortable in there all day. Here's Sabathia on one and two. Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. And that ball is gone. A two-run shot here for Adrian Gonzalez as the Red Sox have taken a 3-2 lead. Well, sometimes when you're pitching well at a ball game, you start to feel invincible out there. He's been keeping the ball low to this point, but he thinks he can just throw the fastball by him at the letters, and it comes back to bite him. David Ortiz will step in. Singleton came around to score his last time. Now a swing and a hard-hit grounder, and this will be a base hit for Ortiz. Well, they got him to hit it right into the shift, but even with three guys over there, they still couldn't get to this one. Just a little unlucky there. David Robertson will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. J.D. Drew swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Ortiz, the runner at first, here's the pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-1. No contact there, and it's one and two. And they obviously want to work him away as that's three straight on the outside part of the plate. I tried to get Drew to go after that one, but it's back to two and two. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. And this is low, but a good block that time by Martin to keep it within reach. I know my job here is to be an analyst and, and to try and add some insight to what's happening on the field, but, but folks, the words cannot describe how badly you got pulled on that pitch. I, I'm not even going to try. And this is fouled back and out of play. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two and that's a good spot for that fastball on 0 and two I mean, that couldn't have been an easy take he's ready now the pitch and boy I was waiting for him to get rung up there but it never happened two and two now yeah hard to believe that's not a strike I don't know exactly where that would have missed three. oh and a good curve ball that time as it's taken for a called strike three and there are two away well, this is due justice for the guy on the mound. He probably should have had the strikeout on the last pitch, but, you know, at the plate, you got to know you're not going to get that pitch called the ball twice in a row. Swing shot back up the middle. And that is past a diving Jeter for a base hit. And they'll stop the runner at second base, but there are two on and two out now. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And it's back to the top of the order now for Jacoby Ellsbury. Down the line, but... 
look, this is a foul ball. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. One for the Red Sox on the home run by Adrian Gonzalez. Get up and stretch, and Boston's taking a 3-2 lead. Russell Martin is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. Now here's a fastball at the knees, and that location has paid off for him so far. It's 0-1. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, in general, the more you can work in that lower half of the zone, the more success you're going to have. Here's Beckett's 0-2 pitch. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Make it back-to-back -back strikeouts here to start the inning. He is really flourishing here late in the ballgame. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And this ball will be chopped foul. Now here's a slow grounder to the left side. Picked up by Euclid. And a low throw, but some fine dirt work there by Gonzalez. Is